So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you uh, how to use divisions and in short these are called divs and what a division is is it basically allows you to have like boxes so containers and these are really good for structuring your site putting like you know your header bar your main content area your footer bar they're good for things like that so I'm going to be showing you how to use them and how to style them now you must have followed the last two t uh, uh, no, you must have followed the uh, tutorial on introducing CSS and uh, when you follow that tutorial you get this code here and we need this code in order to style it so it's, uh, first to create a div what we do is just use the div tag like that and we can put stuff inside this but for now I am not want to put anything in it so let's say we want to style this div all we need to do is do div, uh, as with the previous tutorials uh, when we did the tags, and it just needs to close it off like that. Now, divs can take quite a few different uh, options, I don't know what they're called. Uh, so we can do, for example, background dash color. And without this, we won't be able to see it. So let's set this background color to green. And uh, obviously, this, is, this has no size right now. We need to give it a size for it to be seen. So we're going to give it a width of 300 pixels and a height of 500 pixels. So that's pretty much how you use a div. So if we run and launch in Chrome, and I'll bring that over here, you see we've got a green box. And it's just literally a green box, 300 high and, what did I do? 500 high and 300 wide. So we can also do some other things. We can add a border. And this border is going to be with one pixel, and then you do a space, and then you do um, what kind of border. So we're going to do solid. You can have like dashed and stuff like that, but for now we're just going to use solid. And then you set the color. So I'm going to do um, yellow. Run, and we launch your Chrome. And you see it's got this yellow box around it. I don't know if you can see that. I'll make it thicker. Like that. Uh, by the way, I forgot to mention in the previous tutorial, you must have these semicolons. These are really important. Um, if you don't have them, it's just going to see this as one long line and it won't work. So make sure you put semicolons in. Uh, what else can we do with this? We can put text inside this. So we can put hello world. Like that. And if we run it, oh, let me just save it. Run Chrome. This we've got hello world in it. Now, we want to style all the text inside this div. So to do that, what we can do is just set color to white. Save it, run. This is all pretty simple stuff. And it says, hello world. Uh, of course, we can change things like the font. Uh, I'm gonna set this to Arial. Launch in Chrome. We change the font. And that's pretty much all I'm going to show you for this tutorial and that's how to use division um, oh one last thing we can set this to have a width of 100 percent we can set anything in CSS to have a width of 100 percent let's set the height to 100 pixels and let's remove this border now if we do this what's going to happen is if we launch in Chrome you see it's kind of like a header and this is where div uh, divisions are so useful so we can create like a structure, we could have like a sidebar on here. We could do all sorts of stuff. But that's what I'm going to show you in this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, if I just launch again, how to have some space between like the text and the outside box. And also how to have some space between the outside box and the edge of the page. And that's using margins and paddings. So that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.